friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to discuss case study based questions on linear equations in two variables from the last year cbse has introduced this new type of questions called as case study based question and in this first episode we are going to discuss linear equations in two variables case study questions so before starting the episode 1 i request you to join the telegram channel the link of which is given in the description box and uh, where we regularly give the quizzes and the mcq questions on maths and science for class 9th and 10th so let us start with the question of the episode number 1 so friends here is a question on the screen that read the following text and answer the following questions on the basis of the same prime minister's national relief fund also called as pmnrf in short prime minister's national relief fund is called as pmnrf in short is the fund raised to provide support for the people affected by natural and man made disasters natural disasters that are covered under this include flood cyclone earthquake etc and man made disasters that are included are major accidents acid attacks riots etc two friends sita and geeta together contributed rupees 200 towards the prime minister fund and you have to answer the questions on this given details so here it is given that for the prime minister national relief fund pmnrf sita and geeta these two friends they contribute rupees 200 together towards this minister's relief fund and now we have to answer the following questions so let us move to the first question the first question is that which of the following is not linear equation in two variables very simple question this is that which out of the following is not the linear equation in two variables the first option is 2x is equal to 3y second option is 4 is equal to 5x minus 4y third option is x square plus x is equal to 1 and third or op- fourth option is x minus root 2y is equal to 1 and you have to state which one is not the linear equation in two variable if you look at the first option you will see that there are two variables x and y and the um, highest exponent is 1 therefore we say that this is a linear equation in two variable similarly the second one is also the linear equation in one variable and third one where the highest exponent is 2 and therefore this is not the linear equation as well as there are not two variables x is only the variable in this c option and therefore the option c is the correct option that this is not the linear equation in two variable because this is a quadratic equation and in which the highest exponent is 2 and the uh, there are only one variable that is x and there are no two variables and so the option c is the correct option and again fourth one is a linear equation in two variable because there are two variables and the highest exponent is 1 now let us move to the second question here is the second question on the screen that how to represent the above situation in linear equations in two variable geeta and sita i think first is sita and geeta together contributed rupees 200 so we will assume that let sita contributed rupees x and geeta contributed rupees y okay and we have to state how to represent the above situation in linear equations in two variable what is the situation that sita and geeta together have contributed rupees 200 
together they have contributed rupees 200 we do not know how much amount sita has contributed and how much amount gita has contributed but we can assume that sita has contributed rupees x and gita has contributed rupees y and therefore they together contributed rupees 200 so our equation will be sita's contribution plus gita's contribution that is y which is equal to 200 so here 2x plus y is equal to 200 is not the correct uh, representation. x plus y is equal to 200 is the correct uh, uh, representation of the above situation. And so x plus y is equal to 200. So b option is the correct option. Now let us move to the third question. The third question is that if sita contributed to 76, then how much was contributed by Gita? You can do this orally because there is total contribution is 200. One of them has contributed 76. You can find what Gita has contributed. So here our equation was what x plus y is equal to 200. Sita contributed rupees x and Gita contributed rupees y. So Sita's contribution is 76 rupees. So it will be 76 plus y that is equal to 200. So we will take 76 to other side. So y is equal to 200 minus 76. And so 200 minus 76 that is equal to it is 124. So the Gita's contribution will be rupees 124. Here you need not to do this calculation actually because this is a one mark question. You can do it orally that total contribution is 200. Sita's contribution is 76 so it's minus 76 and you can come to the answer that 124. So the correct option will be the C option that is rupees 124. Now move to the next question. If both contributed equally, then how much is contributed by each? How much amount is contributed by each? If both have contributed equally, both have contributed rupees 200. So if both have contributed equally, what will be the amount contributed by each one? So that is also very easy because both have contributed equal amount. So one must have contributed 100 rupees and one other must have contributed rupees 100. So together that will be 200. If you have to solve the equation, you will do it as x plus y is equal to 200. Both have contributed same amount. So y that is equal to x. So you can replace y by x. So it will be x plus x that is equal to 200. So it is 2x which is equal to 200 and therefore x is equal to 100. Since x is equal to 100, y2 will also be equal to 100. So Sita contributed rupees 100 and Gita contributed is rupees 100 if the condition is that both have contributed the equal amount. So the second amount uh, option that is B option is the correct option that rupees 100 and rupees 100. Now see the next question. Which is the standard form of the linear equation x is equal to minus 5? x is equal to minus 5 and you have to write the standard form of the linear equation. What is the standard form of the linear equation? That is ax linear equation in two variables. That is ax plus by plus c that is equal to 0. This is the standard form of the linear equation in two variables. Correct. So here x plus y is equal to 0. So here this x is equal to x x is equal to minus 5 can be written as x plus 5 take 5 to this side which is equal to 0. This is the correct equation but here we have to write it in a standard form. Standard form is what ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So you have to write it in this form. So here it will be 1x correct x means what it is 1x so this is ax plus by here there is no term uh, having y variable so that will be written as 0 y and plus 
5 which is equal to 0. So this is like ax plus by plus 5 is equal to 0 that is ax plus by plus c that is equal to 0. And so here a is 1, b is 0 and constant term c is 5. So this is the standard form of the linear equation in two variable and so here the option c will be the correct option here it should be 1x plus 0y plus 5 is equal to 0. So the C option will be the correct option. Now friends, here we have solved all the five questions. Each question carries one mark and you have to attempt any four out of the five. So here we will stop. This was the today's first case study based question. Now tomorrow I will upload the another case study based question uh, on different topic. So I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.